Welcome. Uh, this is my first live video for you, I believe, so uh, you can actually see what I look like. Um, but we have some very important things to show you today. So the first thing is, is we need to have access to the ECC lab, which is our, our network um, at Iowa Western. Okay. If you are familiar with Iowa Western and Fremont Hall, where many of our computer science classes are, in room 107, we have a special network and lab that's called the ECC network. You can log into that remotely and connect to that network. Um, but the first thing we need to do is to be able to set up your password and change it. We've given you a default password and we need you to change that. Um, so we're going to first log into the ECC network. We're going to change your password, and then I'm going to show you how to connect to our Linux server so that you can actually issue commands and do um, some of our labs and exercises for this class. The first thing you want to notice is when you log into Rock on week two, you'll see some instructions on how to log in to the ECC network. Everything I'm saying here is also here. So go ahead and you can follow those instructions to be able to do that. Uh, the first thing you want to do, because uh, the first thing we need to do is change our password. To do that, we need to log into the ECC network for the first time, and it will prompt us to change our password. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go to this desktop.ecc.iwcc.edu website right here. Let's see up there and we're going to select or should come up with a page that looks like this and you're going to select the option here on the right the VMware Horizon HTML access so you should be pr prompted with a screen that looks like this asking for your username so go ahead and type in your Iowa Western username usually for you as a student it should be the first initial your first name and then your last name and then it should be a few numbers which is part of your student ID number. Um, if you're not sure what that is, uh, send me an email or contact me and I can let you know, help you figure out what that exactly is. Now your password, your default password that we set up for you is capital I W C C dot E D U. That's also found here on this documentation. So if you're not sure, it's capital I, it's all case sensitive. So it's a capital I WCC, and then uh, there's no plus sign or anything like that, and then it's the last three digits of your student ID. That's your default password to log in. So that's exactly what you would type in here, not here, but here. <laughs> you would type that in there, and then you would sign in. The second you sign in, it should prompt you to change your password. And you'll have to type that in twice, your new password. Make sure it's something that you can remember. Write it down if you need to. And then you should be presented with a screen similar to this, where you can log into a Windows 8 or a Windows 10 environment here through the browser. Now, pretty much that's all we needed to do for this step, was change our password. So once you've gotten to this point, you can go ahead and close this. Now what we want to do now for the rest of our labs is we're going to connect to a Linux server and we're going to use a program called PuTTY. So when you go to Rock, I've given you a link here to download the program PuTTY. All you have to do is click right here and you should be prompted to download PuTTY. And I would recommend you download it to your desktop just so it's saved there on your desktop and then you can click save and it should save it for you. And then I have further instructions here if you need to, if you don't remember exactly what I'm showing you here in this video, there's some reminders there. And uh, let me demonstrate how PuTTY works so that you know how to log in to your Linux server and start issuing commands and doing some of your labs and things like that. So I have PuTTY over here on the left side of the screen. And what you need to do is in this host name part, of the application. All you do is you click on it, it opens up, there's no install or anything like that, and you should be presented with a window like this. And under host name, you type in vlenux.ecc.iwcc.edu. And port 22 should be defaulted. Just make sure that SSH 
is uh, checked right there. Uh, that radio box is chosen for SSH. And then all you do is you click open. You should get this prompt to accept uh, a connection. So you go, I accept, and then log in as. And this is your ECC login, the one that we just did over here in the browser, right? Through, through all of this here. So for me, it's J Bernard. For you, it'd be your first initial, last name, and the uh, last few numbers of your student ID number. And then it's going to ask you for a password. Well, that password that we just changed, that we just uh, walked through and, and modified and changed, that's what this password is going to be. So type in that password. Now, when you type in your password, you're not going to see anything actually come up on the screen. So don't worry about that. Just type it in and hit enter. If you got it wrong, it will tell you. But once you're in, it should just look like something like this. You should be presented with a command line window. And if you want to try something out, you could type the command cal, C-A-L, and you should be presented with a little calendar there. Let's That's how you log into the ECC network. That's how you log into your Linux server. If you have any complications with this, please reach out and... Um, to me. You can either reach out to me through emails. You can um, communicate with me through uh, Google Hangouts as instructed on my syllabus. Um, or you can also just come pop by my office if you're on campus. I'm in uh, room 108 so in Fremont Hall. Anyway, if you have any other questions, um, that's the extent of this video. Let me know if you have any questions and thank you for watching.